Jedrick Willis is one of my favorite players in this upcoming draft, and honestly, I don't need to beat around the bush. Let's just jump into it. He's a right tackle. We'll start things off with this play. He's going to be having a one-on-one -on -one matchup with that Auburn player right over there. And for one thing, right when you see, right when the ball is snapped, the Auburn player is going to try to just overpower him, but that is not going to work out whatsoever. Willis is kind of saying... Don't know what you're doing right here, but this is kind of like a, a fifth grader going up against like a third grader. It's just, it's not working out well for Auburn. So, okay, at this point, you got to try something different. Maybe see if you can use your speed, use your footwork, try to get around him. I mean, you're a smaller guy, so typically it's easier to move around if you are smaller. So eventually, number one for Auburn is going to try to push up. He's going to try to get around. As you see right here, he finally has gotten around him to some degree. Willis has now allowed a little bit of space here where potentially you could maybe do something. But the problem with this is that Willis isn't just a brick wall. He's a brick wall who can move like a gazelle. He, he moves so quickly. He has such great footwork. Watch how he just pushes him aside. It's like they're like they're dancing right over there. I mean, that's just too easy for Willis. That's really what I like about him is that he can overpower you, but also he has great footwork. It's the combination. I mean, this guy is an athlete. That's what gets that's what gets talked about a lot with him is, you know, he's so athletic. Well, he is athletic and he also has the strength to go with it, which is why he's one of the best players in this upcoming draft. And that can really come in handy on a play like this, where it's going to be a double team and then Willis is going to get off that double team to try to block a linebacker. That's the way this play is going to work. And at first, they really get the double team working very well. They push the guy they're trying to push further deep. But the problem is now it's going to be very tough for Willis to get off and try to block the guy who he's trying to block. You know, as you see, the linebacker who I've circled did a great job of moving up and getting in position to try to make a play. So you'll probably gain some yards if you're Alabama. But the problem is there are two Auburn players in the area. And as of right now, only one guy who can make the block, the tight end, who is blocking one of them. But Watch how Willis is able to get back and just deliver a quick hit that even knocks the linebacker over and gives Alabama plenty of room to run. Willis actually pushed his assigned man into the direction of where the halfback was going, but he was able to deliver such a blow on him that he fell over and it didn't matter. And so that's kind of what Willis is bringing to the table. He has athleticism, he can move quickly, and he's strong. He reminds me a bit of Taylor Lewan. Again, I hate doing comparisons because I'm not saying he's going to be Taylor Lewan, but that's just kind of the guy who I can I, I can see them as a comparison to. Like, watch, this plays another example where here he is, one-on-one -on -one matchup, and his assigned man's going to try to use speed to get around him. Makes some sense, right? I mean, you have a guy who is super strong. Let's see if you can use speed to get around him. Makes a lot of sense. But first, watch how quickly Willis gets back. Watch how quickly he takes those strides to the right side of the screen. He very as quickly moves over, which is important. This means that he's not going to get beat to his right, but it does open a door for him to potentially get beat to his left. Now, that's obviously a dangerous play because if the edge rusher does run in that direction, potentially a quarterback could get around, you give up containment, and he could have all day to make a throw. So it is a bit dangerous, but that is what he's going to try to do. However, watch how Willis, just with his left hand, grabs onto that right shoulder pad area. And that's all Willis needs. See, he just sort of hangs on like there, just pushes him out of the way. And it gives the Alabama quarterback plenty of time to make a throw. That's one of the things that I do feel like can be very effective at the NFL level. I mean... There's so many fast pass rushers in the NFL these days that having a guy who can move around well like Willis can really help stop those pass rushers. And also he's strong enough that he can just stop them with his power. So I do really like him as a as a pass blocker especially and as a run blocker. I think that this guy, he can do it all. Like this is a really good play from him where what's going to happen is that his assignment is just to move up to block that linebacker right there. So First, he has to move up to try to make this block. And second, it's actually not just going to be a block to the bottom half of the screen like maybe would be easier. He's going to then try to block the linebacker up to the top half of the screen. So this is a very high degree of difficulty type play for Willis to pull off. First things first, he does get in position to try to get up to block the linebacker pretty well. I mean, he is in position. But at the same time, if you are that Auburn player... Getting moved up to the top half of the screen almost seems out of the question. 
it seems much more likely at this point that Willis is going to have to try something else, maybe just block him straight up and try to push him back so you gain a couple of yards, maybe even try to push him to the bottom half of the screen far enough that it's, he's out of the play that way. But Willis is strong enough, he's still going to push him up to the top half of the screen. That is certainly not easy to do whatsoever. And again, that's just going back to what I'm talking about. He has the speed to get up there, and then he has the power to, even though it's not exactly where you'd want to be to make that block, he's strong enough, he can still make it. Like, they would even run plays through Willis' ability to move around. And what I mean by that is a play like this, where they're going to have their right guard move out to block the linebacker who's over there, and so that's kind of a, a interesting thing to do because now this means that Willis has to go in and block that interior lineman. This is not an easy block to make whatsoever, especially with it being a run to the bottom half of the screen. This now means that if that interior lineman just gets down a little bit further to where Willis is, this can easily be disaster for Alabama. I mean, this is how you see some plays get blown up sometimes and result in losses of three, like right when the ball is snapped, when that interior lineman is able to just step right through quick enough. But Willis isn't going to allow that to happen. Watch how quickly he's able to get over. And at this point, there's no way that interior lineman is getting into this play. It's that small thing that allows that big run to happen. And it wouldn't have happened had Willis had a harder time getting over there. It could have honestly been a loss of yards had he not been quick enough. So that just goes to show that having a guy of his talents can really mean so much to your football team. I want to show you this play also because this is just going to just show off his absurd strength and his absurd athleticism. This kind of just like makes you realize, okay, he's not human, he's something else. Uh, he's going up one-on-one -on -one against an LSU player, and he's going to use his left arm, and watch how he just attaches that left arm, very similar to a play I showed you earlier, where it's it's basically just one-handed what he can do sometimes. He's already in a good position. It's a running play, and already the LSU player is trying to get over, and you'd think that this LSU player could maybe somehow try to get into this play. However, watch how Willis just completely shoves him over, largely just with his left hand, largely just using that one hand. And uh, that's what makes him such a fantastic right tackle is his left hand. And, and definitely keep in mind that he was a right tackle, but he was a right tackle for Alabama when Tua was there. So for the most part, he was their most important offensive lineman, and he absolutely played a key role, no doubt about it. And one more thing I wanted to show is just intelligence. You know, I mean, that's obviously a key part in football. In any position is football IQ, understanding what your role is in any play. It can be especially important in the offensive line position. You don't want to allow guys to get free to your quarterback, especially when you're protecting a blind side like Willis was for Tua. But like on this play, there's going to be a twist. So, okay, nothing crazy, but definitely this is something that, guys can get fooled on and especially because you look right after the ball is snapped Willis at this point has not realized that it's a twist he's still looking at that LSU player and it actually makes a lot of sense to run a twist on on Willis because he is the kind of guy who players will sort of take their time to get to sometimes because it you Willis gets good hand placement the play is basically over so good play call by LSU but you see right now that LSU player is getting ready to hit Willis and Willis has no idea it's coming. So with a lot of tackles in the league, this could be a disastrous situation, but a lot of tackles aren't Willis. And watch how 74 just notices it, is able to pick up that block. And uh, actually, ironically, on the opposite side of the twist, uh, his guard was not able to pick that up. So, you know, uh, not exactly a perfect play by Alabama, but a really good play from Willis, I thought, realizing the twist at the last second, being able to get the hand placement and not getting burned by it. And his guard still did get back to finish off the block and allow Tua to run for some yards. So, you know, uh, it worked out all right for Alabama. And uh, really, I think Willis played really well. He's a really good player. I, I think absolutely top five pick worthy, in my opinion. No doubt about it. But that's just my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, as always, thanks for watching. And yes, I said top five pick. I think he's really good. Deal with it.